here we have a word problem on ratio okay let's read the question and understand the information given the monthly incomes of two persons are in the ratio 4 is to 5 and their monthly expenditures are in the ratio 7 is to 9 if each serves rupees 50 per month find their monthly incomes okay we have uh, three information that is uh, month uh, the ratio of monthly incomes of two persons is given that is uh, income ratio is 4 is to 5 and expenditure ratio is given that is 7 is to 9 and the savings of each person is given that is rupees 50 okay we have to find uh, the monthly incomes of two persons okay before we are trying to solve this problem let's look at an example uh, let us assume a person the first person is earning rupees uh, 400 and the second person is earning rupees 500 uh, let's consider this is the uh, earning of the first person in uh, one week and this is the earning of the second person in one week okay what is the ratio between uh, these two earnings it's very simple it is 400 is to 500 and now we can simplify this ratio to 4 is to 5 because uh, both 400 and 500 divisible by 100 so 4 is to 5 is the ratio between the two earnings rupees 400 and rupees 500 okay so now from this ratio uh, 4 is to 5 if you want to get the original quantities rupees 400 and rupees 500 what do you have to do it's very simple we have to multiply both the first term and second term by 100 so from this we can understand a fact whenever we want to get original quantities from the ratio we have to multiply both the terms of the ratio by the same number so that is a fact we have to understand here so from the given ratio uh, if you want to get the original quantities you have to multiply both the first term and second term by the same number okay here already you know the original quantities rupees 400 and rupees 500 so that is why you decide that you have to multiply both 4 and 5 by 100 in case I do not know the original quantities okay I do not know the original quantities I just know only the ratio between the two quantities okay just using the ratio how do you have to find the original quantities we, are, we know the fact that we have to multiply both the terms of the ratio by the same number in the previous case uh, in the previous case only we have to multiply by 100 because uh, already we know the original quantities rupees 400 rupees 500 so we know that we have to multiply by 100 but here we do not have any original quantities we just have only the ratio 4 is to 5 from this ratio you have to find the original quantities by what number you have to multiply do you know so definitely no answer for this question because only if you know the original quantities we can come to know the number by which we have to multiply the first term and second term so what we have to do it's very simple if you do not know the number by which you have to multiply the first term and second term to get the quantities to get the original quantities what you have to do is you have to assume the number is x that is you have to multiply both the first term and second term by the number x to get the original quantities so 4x is the first quantity 5x is the second quantity here x is unknown using the other information in the question we have to find the value of x once we know the value of x easily we can come to know the original quantities in most of the problems on ratio uh, the original quantities will not be given it will be targeted by the question only the ratio between the quantities will be given so from the ratio this is how we have to assume the original quantities like uh, multiplying the first term and second term by x so once we uh, find the value of x using the other information easily we can come to know the quantities so this is the idea we are going to apply in our problem okay so let's apply this strategy in our problem uh, the ratio of monthly incomes is given it's 4 is to 5 and we have to find the monthly incomes so because we have to find the monthly incomes we can assume uh, the monthly income of the first person monthly income of the second person from this ratio it's very clear 
mother income of the first person is 4x that is you have to multiply both the first term and second term by the same number here i do not know by what number i should multiply so i am going to multiply both the first number and second number by x so income of the second person is 5x okay now i got the income of the first person and second person i have to find the value of x okay now from the income of the first person i am going to subtract the savings of the first person that is 50 because the question says each person saves rupees 50 per month here 4x is income i mean income of the first person 50 is the savings of the first person so if you subtract savings from the income what will you get expenditure so this is the expenditure of the first person in the same way we can get the expenditure of the second person that is 5x minus 50 so income expenditure of the first person expenditure of the second person so if you do ratio between them so this is the ratio of expenditures of two persons but already the expenditure ratio is given in the question that is 7 is to 9 so this is equal to 7 is to 9 now we have to solve this equation for x okay to solve this equation for x what we can do is we can write both the ratios as fractions so it's going to be 4x minus 50 by 5x minus 50 equal to 7 by 9 so to solve for x we can do cross multiplication that is 9 times 4x minus 50 equal to 7 times 5x minus 50 so 9 times 4x is 36x 9 times 50 is 450 the same thing we can do on the right side 35x that is 7 times 5x is 36, 35x and 7 times 50 is 350 okay to solve for x what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to take this 35x plus 35x to the left side of the equation i'm going to take this negative 45 to the right side of the equation so 36x minus 35x equal to so when this minus 450 goes to the right side it will become plus 450 already minus 350 is there so 36x minus 35x is equal to x and 450 minus 350 is 100 okay now we got the value of x that is 100 now already we know the income of the first person is 4x so now we know the value of x which is 100 so to know the income of the first person 4 times the value of x is 100 we can substitute the value 100 for x so which is equal to 400 the same thing we can do here that is 5 times 100 sorry which is equal to 500 so the income of the first person is 400 income of the second person is 500 so the monthly incomes of two persons are rupees 400 and rupees 500